G'day, it's Tom here. Welcome back to Tommy Gun Machining. This is part five of the quick change gearbox build. In this video, we'll make the transpose assembly. There's gonna be two parts we'll make. A selector, and actual transpose gears themselves. The transpose gears take threads per inch and convert it into metric. We'll discuss gear ratios later. If anyone's after any specific compound gear ratio, hit me up. I've written a little program which will help. Enough waffle, on with the build. Now it's time to make the selector handle.
One turn. We a third. Hmm. It's more like 1.6. So I've messed up. I'm aiming for a gear ratio of 1.27. I got 1.6. The input and the output actually cancel out. So two compound gears isn't going to work. The solution? Three compound gears. Here's a little tip, unless you work in aerospace and you want your parts to fly, grab your key or another pin, drop it in another hole, you can't move. So I've rectified the gear ratio with two extra gears. The issue was that I forgot to consider the effect of the input and the output in terms of a gear train. If you think of a simple gear train, a large output actually slows down the system. But a large gear on the output of a compound gear actually speeds things up, so the two cancel out. So in this effect, the two gears at the end of the gear train did nothing. So I've added two extra gears. To These new gears will cancel out, but I'll have the original gear train as planned. Having the extra shaft has the downside that when I'm in the metric selection, the feed direction actually gets reversed. I might add an extra gear if things get confusing. To work out gear ratios, I've developed an Excel program that lets me choose a target ratio and it cycles through a range of gears in order to determine the most accurate approximation. My target accuracy was, in theory, 0.01 millimeters over a 300 mil lead screw length. This is getting into lead screw territory, which I'm thinking of adapting for the mill. Rather than the complex assembly, I could have run with a single compound gear, like a 47 over 37 approximation. My gear program also found 80 over 63 works. Of course, 127 over 100 is the best you can have. That's a perfect ratio. But there's a few issues with that. Because it's so large, there'll be no room left in my gearbox. And also my dividing head won't cut a 127 tooth gear. That just takes us back to this assembly. Having multiple compound gears. Now the selector will let me input into this gear or into this one depending on how I flick it. So then it lets me input directly into this shaft or go through the compound gears into the selector shaft. This will be affixed to the outside of the gearbox cover. These threaded rods, they're set up like this temporarily. They'll actually be longer and actually bolt through the outside casing. It'll be a large hole to accept this through the casing. Now after messing around with my gear program and correcting it, I actually found there was a better gear ratio than what I had. I don't know how I missed it. But anyway, this, this will get me by. I'm in the process of assembly now, but with the rework on the transpose assembly, I've been set back more than a week. Plus I've got plenty of other projects on the go at the moment.